What used to be institutional tension between the branches has transmuted into partisan tension. And so there is no uh, institutional impetus for one branch to question the other when that branch is controlled by the same party. Um, and if that doesn't change big time in 2009, assuming a change in party control in the executive, I think we're in for more of the same. We need to have Congress reasserting its institutional prerogatives. Um, and I think there has to be an educational campaign because members of Congress show up uh, now, and I guess from either the schools they come from or their backgrounds, they have no idea what the separation of powers is. They have no idea of any of the things that Jonathan was speaking about, about our structure of government. They think, because they see the president on television, that he's in charge of everything. Um, we have this notion in the post-war era that the president is, you know, projects as an individual to the, to the nation at large, as opposed to 535 faceless representatives. Um, and that has to change. And I think it has to change not just by passing remonstrances like the War Powers Act and the Budget Empowerment and Control Act, which I think have largely been failures. And my position uh, when those statutes were passed was basically, look, don't say that you have these powers, exercise them. Hmm. If you think that you have the ability to stop the president from impounding your money, then pass laws that say he shall spend it. Um, and without going into the War Powers Resolution, which I think is a concession of power to the president that he didn't have in the Constitution and did not have before the passage of that act, um, those types of remonstrances are not going to restore the balance. What's going to restore the balance is hardcore resistance by the Congress as an institution to the power grabs that Jonathan has outlined. The denial of appropriated money, the denial of delegated authority, the calling of officers of the executive to account, the subpoenaing of documents and witnesses, and the exercise of what Raoul Berger called that vast armamentarium of powers is the only thing that's going to uh, change our prospects going, going forward uh, in 2009. And the Congress has to understand that and exercise that power uh, if we're going to restore the balance.